we've done a full overhaul of Welcome Stadium when we come to renovation. If it was in there, we touched it. We started, we have the field that opened up last season, the track that opened up last season. Those were completely renovated to new state-of-the-art materials. And as you see, as you drive by, we have a an amazing press box that happened. During the season, we actively worked to make sure that we got our bleachers touched on. Our locker rooms have been up to date because we live in a different world now and we want our kids to feel comfortable and utilize them in the way they need. Concessions, which is the heart of why many people go to any event, is to get to food. We've also added in our Hall of Fame display because, again, there's a lot of rich history here that people don't know about, and the best way for them to learn about it is for them to actually see it. At some point in your life and your career, you've came through here for whether it was a 5K run, whether it was the pantry, whether it was a church having a, a celebration out in the parking lot. And I think that's what makes this project big because it was bigger than DPS, but it is good to call it home. It's definitely a historic moment, and I'm glad that I'm able to be part of this experience. We're talking about 1949 when this was created. We're talking about 2008 when we had a new track and a new field, and here we are now. And not just here, everywhere, there's a lot of newness. So um, our kids, they deserve this and probably more. When you hear the students in the classroom talking about all the renovations, they're thrilled about that because they, they go to some of the best schools all over Ohio and they're in and out of great stadiums. When I first started with Dayton, I thought it was strange that you had a shared stadium and I thought that might be a limitation. But I quickly realized how valuable that was where you have all six schools and everybody's like, nope, this is my field. And so they just, everybody gets their best time and just, they love, the students just love Welcome Stadium. Uh, it actually means a lot. I think it shows a level of commitment by our district to uh, put money into our facilities for the kids. Uh, it gives them um, an opportunity to look forward to something, to play in something nice. Uh, playing in this stadium over 20 years ago, it was pretty old in the season at that time. And now to come back now to see the revamps and the changes, I mean, it just it gives a level of excitement, like I said, for people that like to come watch the kids play, um, just to see that we play in one of the nicer stadiums in all the nation. It's almost collegiate level. Um, facilities and I think it's nice for the kids to look forward to that. By donating it shows that we're invested with the kids also. So um, as a community we say we're all about the kids and, and you know we this is our opportunity to show that. One of the biggest things when it comes to sports is it really helps the kids feel pride in their school, um, feel pride in where they're from, feel pride in their team and so the legacy of anything, of any school, I mean you hear about those stories, this person that graduated from this school, they, they, you talk about it forever. I mean you know there's uh, you know kids that played at Belmont I hear st still brought up even from you know four years ago where none of these kids were there people still talk about them and it, again it just goes back to having that sense of pride. Somebody that went to my school did this, I can do great things too. I attended Ohio State University and became All-American Big Ten player and also a college football Hall of Famer. And after I left Ohio State, I went and played 13 years in the National Football League. It was the first round pick of the Philadelphia Eagles in 1986. And I played in Philadelphia for seven years and I also scored a touchdown in Super Bowl 31. And this is a showcase. If you can play well here, you know, you can play well anywhere. And it starts, you know, Welcome Stadium. Football's been so good to me and it's been special. It's given me so much. And for me to have the opportunity to give back. You know, out here you see people able to fulfill their dreams and they, you watch their games and people will talk about them for the next 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, the dreams that they make here at Welcome Stadium. Just being here, I mean, as a coach, as a community member, as a member of Thurgood Marshall uh, alumni, just to see the renovation, see the opportunity that's being brought to the students here is it's amazing because this is our future. These uh, the student population right now. Uh, in another 10 years, they're going to be the people that are representing and making the decisions for our city, for our community, for just pretty much our society. We've built a stadium that is not only for student athletics. It is for community events. It is for bringing different event goers into the area. Like we are in a location where this is where you want to be at and we want our people and our community to feel that and feel that excitement when they're in here and throughout the whole space. This project was started in 1927 and it's 2023 and we're finally close enough to actually completing the 
full design of what Dayton Public School students should be able to enjoy and utilize. Welcome Stadium, honoring and advancing our legacy.